President Ekufuado has placed a ban on the purchase of new vehicles by all ministries, departments and agencies. He said the economy is in difficulty and urged all government functionaries to make do with vehicles that they are at their disposal. The president said this at a retreat with his ministers at Pediasi. It's now some three months since I took the oath of office as president of the republic. It's some two months since many of the ministers took office. So it's important that we meet to review where we are and decide for ourselves exactly how we're going to go to the next stage. We've also had the opportunity to strengthen the bonds of cooperation amongst us. Government, if it is to succeed, has to be teamwork. It cannot be one person or a group of individuals acting in, out of their own little corners. It has to be a group of people coming together, a common program, common ideas, and working to realize those ideas in a spirit of teamwork and of cooperation. I'm satisfied that these three days that we've spent here in Pedriasi has established for me that sense of togetherness, that sense of oneness that we need. Everybody has been here. All the ministers have been here. The Vice President, the Chief of Staff, the Senior Minister, and all of them. And everybody has had an opportunity to contribute to the work that we've done here this this weekend. So we're leaving here in very high spirits. We know the difficulties that have emerged with the events in Kumasi. But we believe that those events are systematically being brought under control in the way that they should be. And reassuring the nation that the commitment that we made that we are going to serve Ghana under conditions of the rule of law. We're not wavering in that commitment. We believe that the overwhelming majority of the Ghanaian people support us in that commitment. I put a ban for the time being on the purchase of any new vehicles from members of this government. No matter how dilapidated are the vehicles that they are in our fleet, we're going to have to make do with them. These are difficult times for the Ghanaian people, and we should be seen to be acting in respecting that. I believe these uh, retreats are going to be uh, a normal and regular feature of my government because collectively we are determined to deliver. 